But then it's <clears throat> about you know cheating the wind and making the truck as aero efficient as possible because the, the, the more efficient it is, the longer the range, the better. Elon Musk once described the semi as a bullet and its aerodynamic design further attests to this claim with a drag coefficient of 0.22 CD, making this electric truck a leader in the transportation industry. On the other hand, the impressive breakthrough in performance compared to recent heavy-duty truck races has also been revealed. So, how will the semi be a groundbreaking alternative in the transportation industry. Let's find out in today's episode. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Without further ado, let's get started. A very compelling image of the Tesla Semi's performance, both independently and in comparison to other EVs, has been compiled by NACFE and PepsiCo, the company that purchased the first Tesla Semi model and compared it to its competitors. But what makes the Tesla Semi stand out from its competitors in the trucking industry? The data indicates that the Tesla Semi has performed exceptionally well, with transportation efficiency, charging efficiency, and overall performance being the three key parameters they used to assess this during full load cargo transportation. Due to the way the Semi carries out its task, the transportation industry has started to take notice and evaluate whether electric trucks can operate efficiently in the real world. This is because the range is a crucial measure in the industry and one of Tesla Semi's strengths. According to initial reports, the semi seems to have a significant advantage in terms of average daily driving distance. However, it's unclear whether other trucks operate on equivalent routes or if the requirements of their specific routes necessitate them to travel further than the average daily distance. Nevertheless, there is information indicating that the average weight of trucks in the event is around 70,000 pounds. Although it hasn't reached the maximum weight of 82,000 pounds, the operational efficiency still demonstrates that the Tesla Semi performs quite well. For charging, the Semi made three stops for a 750 kilowatt charge up during the 1,076 mile journey on day 17 of the challenge. This increased the charge level from 3% to nearly 90% during the extended charging break lasting over an hour in the afternoon. The initial charging sessions lasted less than 45 minutes each. The plan for the Tesla Semi was initially revealed in Elon Musk's overarching strategic strategic plan in 2016, however, many outside of Tesla doubted its feasibility. Ultimately, Musk's idea has been proven right after seven years with the Tesla Semi, although it has yet to be mass-produced. Musk is currently one of the most criticized individuals globally due to his divisive personality and sometimes controversial behavior. Few would deny that he is a visionary, having demonstrated that electric cars have existed for over a century, but Tesla proved that they can be mass-produced and commercialized sold. Tesla has become the giant of electric vehicles today thanks to its initial strategic plan, thanks to its initial strategy, which was simple yet excellently executed. Musk's second plan, known as Master Plan Part 2, was announced in 2016 and is an ambitious and unfinished statement by him. One of the most crucial points of this plan is the development of EVs in all major market segments. Although he didn't think building a cheaper car than the Model 3 at the time was ideal, deal, the second plan mentioned a new pickup truck and a subsequent revealed model, the Model Y. Then, the strategy recognized the need for two new types of EVs, a solution for urban transport and heavy-duty cargo trucks. A year before the official announcement of the Tesla Semi prototype in November of 2017, Musk hinted at creating a semi-truck. Although Elon Musk believed that creating a compact, affordable electric car was more important, we have yet to see the versatile car or self-driving taxi service he dreamt of. He often boasts about impressive figures such as a range of 1,000 kilometers when empty, 800 kilometers when fully loaded. Additionally, he ensures that the Class A truck will be much cheaper than diesel-powered vehicles. The 300-mile and 500-mile variants of this advanced electric truck are expected to be priced at $180,000 and $250,000, respectively. However, Musk's performance claims for the Tesla Semi have been questioned from the outset. 
In 2018, Daimler Trucks CEO Martin Dom, who expressed skepticism about Tesla's promises regarding the semi right after its prototype introduction, considered the claimed range to be unrealistic, especially when compared to the capabilities of Daimler's electric vehicles. If Tesla could truly achieve this, Daimler pledged to purchase two trucks, one for disassembly and one for testing, as if this happened, something had surpassed them. Two years later, the more prominent figure Bill Gates also shared his doubts in a blog post. Gates mentioned that even with significant advancements in battery technology, EVs may never be a practical solution for heavy-duty vehicles such as 18-wheel trucks, cargo ships, and passenger airplanes. He argued that heavier batteries are needed to balance the increased weight from larger batteries. However, according to Gates, long-haul and heavier trucks will require a different energy source. The first test of pickup trucks delivered were designed to ensure that even from the first prototype, Tesla made it clear that they would not manufacture an ordinary daily use pickup truck that looks like anything anyone has ever seen. Instead, it aligns with the descriptions Elon Musk often uses, portraying a futuristic appearance. Volvo Trucks had unveiled its latest Super Truck 2 model, believed to have achieved a 134% increase in freight efficiency. Volvo truck engineers have also implemented some weight reduction reduction strategies to significantly decrease the road load weight to 27,000 pounds for the combination truck and trailer. So how does the Tesla Semi achieve a breakthrough in performance, efficiency, and safety with its innovative design? Most people are initially surprised by the central driving seat, the windscreen that extends all the way to the door, and the absence of side mirrors in the Tesla Semi prototype. However, the overall arrangement and layout, while the production model has reintroduced mirrors, haven't changed significantly. Aerodynamic optimization is the primary focus of the unconventional design resembling a bullet showcased at the 2017 unveiling event. In comparison to Super Truck 1, Volvo's recently introduced concept model is believed to have improved aerodynamics by 20%, with an estimated drag coefficient of around 0.46, while Super Truck 1 had a drag coefficient of 5.8. However, the Tesla Semi boasts a drag coefficient of 22, confirmed by Tesla's designer, Franz von Holthausen. This aids the Tesla Semi in achieving the remarkable range figures predicted by Elon Musk. The aerodynamics of the truck play a crucial role addressing the skepticism surrounding the semi. Furthermore, a noteworthy reason contributing to the aerodynamics of the Tesla Semi is that it is designed based on the Shinkansen, or high-speed train, in Japan, and lacks the wide radiator grill seen in traditional trucks. The large side mirrors of the semi-truck are also complemented by camera screens on the left and right of the entertainment screen. Most functions in the semi are controlled through these screens. An improvement that the Volvo Super Truck 2 concept brings is the complete replacement of side mirrors with more compact cameras. The Cybertruck had a similar design, but until now, traffic regulations have not permitted this, so the future of camera-based side mirror designs for all types of vehicles remains uncertain. Some concerns about what could cause a Tesla Semi rollover may find a straightforward answer. It is highly challenging for that to happen. Teslas, being Elon Musk's creations, benefit from his particular enthusiasm for safety, so there is a reasonable assurance that it will perform well. Regarding rollovers, the Tesla Semi will share the advantages that all battery electric vehicles or BEVs possess. The fact that the heavy battery pack is positioned very low, giving it a very low center of gravity and making it difficult to overturn. You can also observe examples like the Model Y, which has almost zero likelihood of rolling over. What are the reasons behind Elon Musk's enthusiasm for the Semi's specific specifications and features. For the 500-mile variant, the Tesla semi-truck has 9 battery modules, while the 1,000-volt design has 10 modules, equivalent to the Model S Plaid battery. Tesla can customize the size of the battery to meet customer needs. It's reasonable then to predict that the model with a 300-mile range will have 6 modules. 
The lithium-ion battery packs are exclusive to the Tesla Semi and are not manufactured using replacement parts from other Tesla models, although they may be similar. The estimated power capacity is uncertain, ranging from 750 to 1,000 kilowatt hours. In the overall plan outlined in Part 3, Elon Musk revealed the type of battery the Tesla Semi will use, categorizing the trucks into two distinct types, semi-light and semi-heavy. The plan specifies that standard range vehicles such as smaller cars cars and short-range trucks can use lower energy density chemicals like lithium iron phosphate batteries. Larger vehicles with longer ranges, such as long-haul trucks and buses, require higher energy density batteries using high nickel cathodes. The short-range heavy trucks are believed to use LFP chemistry in a 500 kilowatt hour battery pack, while the long-range heavy trucks use advanced nickel technology in an 800 kilowatt hour battery pack. Moreover, EV manufacturers have begun deploying mega watt charging stations at strategic locations to maximize charging capability. Specially designed connectors handle high current used by electric class 8 trucks, allowing for a 30-minute charge from nearly 0 to 70 percent, according to information provided by PepsiCo, a partner in the Tesla trailer truck unveiling. It takes 90 minutes for a full charge, as drivers of trucks within the 500-mile range won't encounter issues with the Tesla semi-truck after 8 hours of driving. According to regulations, drivers Drivers must take a 30-minute rest break. The average distance a truck driver covers in 8 hours is 400 miles. The two drive units powered by batteries are designed for torque production on the rear remaining axle and one drive unit on the rear axle for efficiency. And these motors can be turned off when not in use, although specific technical specifications have not been disclosed officially. Tesla states that the semi-truck has three times the power of a diesel truck, implying a power output of about a thousand horsepower. It utilizes the efficient three-motor drivetrain system from the modified Model S Plaid with some modifications arranged in a reverse manner. The front motor of the Model S powers the rear axle of the semi, functioning as a highway drive unit, while the dual rear motors of the Plaid are mounted on the rear axle of the semi. These motors feature a clutch similar to to Rivian, allowing their use for acceleration and disconnecting at speed to improve efficiency. When considering the best-selling truck in the U.S., the Freightliner Cascadia, which has a baseline power of 350 horsepower, the three times figure amounts to 1,050. Therefore, it's reasonable to assert that the semi matches the power of 1,020 horsepower for the Model S and X Plaid, and possibly its torque of 1,050. 50 pound feet. Tesla further ensures that even if two of the three electric motors fail, the electric truck will still outperform a diesel truck in natural acceleration. However, such failures are unlikely to occur as Tesla has claimed that the drivetrains on the semis are designed to cover a million miles. But most importantly, how will the Tesla Semi appeal to potential customers and users? When unloaded, the Tesla Semi can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds. However, under a full load, the Semi will perform like a true sports car, as evidenced by footage from the transportation process showing it can climb up to a 5% grade at speeds up to 60 miles per hour. Tesla ensures that the Semi will require less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile, and during testing, PepsiCo reported that the electric truck often used less than 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, despite these seemingly remarkable figures. The real power of Tesla lies in its software, with remote diagnostics tools, precise of predictive maintenance, and other services that traditional truck owners could only imagine. The Semi shares many features with modern travel, including forward lane-keeping assist, collision warnings, and automatic emergency braking due to inertia that pushes heavy-duty trailers into the cabin, causing an abnormal folding of a connected vehicle joint. This is prevented by the autonomous driving system. The Tesla Semi is designed to have self-driving capabilities similar to other Tesla electric vehicles, and Tesla aims to provide additional special features like convoy operation, where multiple self-driving vehicles operate together. 
Despite the first batch of semi-trucks starting operations at PepsiCo and Frito-Lay plants in California, some critics have tried to convince people that Tesla's electric trucks are still a scam. Even after Tesla released a video of a loaded semi-truck carrying 81,000 81, pounds of cargo, covering 500 miles on a single charge, some still attempted to argue that the load was lighter. The Tesla semi-truck has excelled in testing with the ability to maintain a high charge level for a significant period using the installed 750 kilowatt hour charger, charging from 5 to 80% in about one hour. This remarkable achievement means that the truck can continue to operate at nearly full load without any disruption from charging sessions. While a limited number of trucks have been produced, even with the first delivery starting in December last year, PepsiCo, which ordered 100 trucks, may have received around 40 based on the reported returns. Although the company is not yet prepared to begin mass production, Tesla has received numerous orders from other fleet operators. The collaboration with PepsiCo can be seen as a pilot project with modifications made in response to user feedback before full-scale production as Tesla aims to surpass all other U.S. truck manufacturers by 2024, according to their mission statement. Tesla's order book includes 50 trucks from Cisco, 40 from Anheuser-Busch, 130 from Walmart, 150 from Pride Enterprises, along with the 100 trucks pre-ordered by PepsiCo, although these figures pale in comparison to Tesla's production capacity. Production and positive experiences with electric trucks are expected to attract a large number of other fleet operators to the Tesla network to turn the electric truck into a gold mine. The success of the electric semi also relies on its full self-driving capabilities, challenging preconceptions about Tesla's electric trucks. Although Tesla's unique materials and structure are characteristic, the undeniable allure of the Tesla semi lies in its electric powertrain. Despite lacking the flashy chrome appearance often seen in traditional 18-wheelers, it compensates with a novel design and the technology it brings. While Frito-Lay's larger investment in natural gas-powered Volvo trucks speaks volumes about their current confidence in electric tractor trailers, it also highlights the ongoing shift towards EVs. What do you think about the breakthrough of the semi from Tesla? What other types of vehicles should Tesla add to their product line? That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed it, please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. You can also turn on notifications so you'll never miss out on any of our amazing videos. We appreciate your feedback and your time. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and have fun.